Very good morning, my dear aspirants. So, welcome to Kathkaya IAS Academy. So, today we are going to discuss daily current affairs. The next important topic about about center sanctions of rupees thirty seven point eight crores for face lift of Parshuram Kund. So here government of India gave sanctioned 37.8 crores to the state government of Arunachal Pradesh. So here center and whereas this Parshram Khand is in Arunachal Pradesh. So government of India sanctioned some amount 37.8 crore amount for the development of Arunachal Pradesh Parshuram Khand. So here you can observe this is the image of the great Parasuram whereas this is the location and here you can find some minerals. What is this mineral? Please guess it and you can observe some tribal people. So who are these tribal people? So this is all we are going to discuss in this session. So please observe here, this is the location of Parshuram Kund. So this is a Hindu pilgrimage site. This is an Hindu pilgrimage site. And it is situated on the Brahmaputra plateau. And at the lower reaches of Brahmaputra, you will find the Lohit River. So this is that Lohit River and this site is called Parsharam Khand. Right? So here so many Parsharam Khand, so many deities of this Parsharam Khand, so many deities of this Parsharam God will visit this shrine and they will dip in this water. So this happens every year this happens every year on makara sankranti so you don't believe that almost 70000 devotees the sadhus will take holy dip in this lohit river clear so please do remember so 70000 devotees on every makara sankranti they will come to here they will come to this Parashram Kund and they will dip in this holy river. So on which occasion? Makara Sankranti. So let's discuss about Parashram Kund. So he is that God, the great Parashram. And in this area, you will find these, these people. Right. So, if you observe the culture of these people, it is a northeastern style. So, this is a northeastern style of dress culture, and they belong to Mishmi tribe. For an exam, they may ask us, "This Parshuram Kund is in Arunachal Pradesh." Okay, it's very good, but which tribe resides here? So what is the tribe name? Mishmi tribe. In the same way, there are another three types of this Mishmi tribe. So those are called as Iddu Mishmi or Iddu Loba, the Garo tribe, nothing but the Tarano tribe or the Rang Deng tribe. And there is Midju Mishmi or Kaman Deng tribe. So how many tribes? The which tribe besides here Mishmi tribe and these are the subtypes of this Mishmis. It may be Mishi called as Iduloba, the Agro called as Taron or Darang Deng, Mizu Mishmi also called as Kaman Deng. So this Paramshuram Kund, which is a Hindu pilgrimage site, which is on which plateau Brahmaputra and on the lower reaches of which river? Lohit river. So this Lohit river is very very important. So this Brahmaputra plateau also called as Telushati. Please do remember. 
This is the geographical bit. Brahmaputra plateau in Arunachal Pradesh called as known as Telushati or Tailong area of Mishmi plateau. Right? So it is in which district? Lohit district. On which river? Lohit river. In which state? It is in Arunachal Pradesh. And in this Parshurama Kund is dedicated to which god? Parshurama. So these are very, very important topic. So coming to the thousand of pilgrimage, nothing but about 70,000 sadhus visit this holy site in winter every year, nothing but January on the Makar Sankranti for a holy dip in the sacred kund which is believed to wash away one's sins. So it falls with the Kamlang reserve forest and it is surrounded by dense forest. And again here you please observe this point. This Parshurama kund is surrounded by dense forests. Okay, very good. And the government recognized reserve forest that you can think about Kamlang. Kamlang Reserve Forest. So beside this Lohit River, this Lohit River, you will find Kamlang Reserve Forest. So please do remember in exam they may ask you Kamlang Reserve Forest is in which of the following state? Kamlang Reserve Forest is in which state? Arunachal Pradesh. So according to the Hindu faith, the sage Parusram, on the advice of some sages, is said to have wandered all over the Himalayan range to atone for the sin of matricide. So, till now, you may have came across with the word suicide, killing ourselves. Next one, patricide, killing their father. And this is matricide. So, you all are well aware that Lord Parshurama was the sixth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. And on the orders of his father, Jamadagni, right? So, this his father, Jamadagni, gave his axe and told Parshurama to behead his mother, Renuka. And since he had committed one of the worst crimes of killing one's mother, the axe got the axe got stuck to his hand. And his father pleased with this obedience and decided to give him a boon to which he asked for his mother to be restored back to the life. So even after his mother was brought back to the life, the axe could not be removed from the hand of Parshurama because he committed matricide. It is a heinous crime. So he obeyed the father's word but still it is a heinous crime. Clear? So then he repented for his crime and on Taking the advice of eminent rishis of that time period, he arrived at the banks of Lohit river and he washed his hands. Then, then he cleanized, this water cleanized him from all the sins. And as soon as he dipped his hand into the water of Lohit river, river, Lohit river, Lohit river, the axe which was attached to his, which got attached to his hand, got detached. So as soon as he dipped his hands into the Lohit river, his axe immediately got detached. And since then the site where he washed his hands became a place of worship. And this came to be known as Parshuram Kund. Is it clear to everyone? So, of course, this is a myth, but we don't have the real source. But according to these Rushis, according to the Hindu faith, we believe that this is a Parshuram 
अखंड एंड ऑन एंड ऑन एवरी मकर संक्रांति सेवेंटी थाउजेंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेवेंटी थाउजेंड साधु विजिट दिस एरिया फॉर क्लीनाइज देयर सेंस नेक्स्ट वॉट आर द अरेजमेंट डन बाय द एपी आंध्र प्रदेश नॉट आंध्र प्रदेश सॉरी अरुणाचल प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर परशुराम मेला तो प्लीज ऑब्जर्व हियर दिस परशुराम खुंड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस एरिया इट इज नॉट एक्चुअली इन दिस वे इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी असाम एर्थक्वेक विच स्टो विच शॉक all the northeast and the kund here here the kund is also completely covered with the stones and a very strong current is now flowing over the original site right so in 1950 assam earthquake the whole kund was under the stones and on over this stones over this kund the lohit river passes right now so the very strong current is now flowing over the original site but massive boulders have in a mysterious way embedded themselves in a circular formation in this river and thus forming another kund in the place of the old so due to this earthquake the site was completely the geography of the site completely changed and now this place is visited by 70000 sadhus so the government of arunachal pradesh government of arunachal pradesh tried to build the roadway the channel for easy float and now the government of india also helped them so here the district administration with the collaboration of the department of tourism has been making elaborate arrangements for security along the provision of shelters other public facilities like drinking water toilets ration shops and medical centers are also arranged for safe and comfortable stay of pilgrims so for this center government also sanctioned 37.8 crore for face for his face lift of this parshuram kund and who is the governor bd mishra said that the project must be completed at the earliest and the arunachal pradesh tourism minister nakap nalo assured that whatever amount you are giving to us whatever amount whatever amount you are sanctioning to us will be completely monitored by nakap nalo himself he will be governing this complete project so then nalo thanked the governor for vigorously pursuing with the center for the approval of the project and who is that governor please do remember bd mishra who is the chief minister of arunachal pradesh pema kandu and he belongs to which party bjp who is the tourism minister nakap nalo so in exam you may get the tourism minister of arunachal pradesh because it is a very very important topic for narendra modi because it is all related to the hinduism so as he is developing the varanasi as he is cleanizing the namami ganga with his program namami ganga so in the same way he also completed the ayodhya long last dispute and now he is entering into the major sites major ancient sites of hinduism so one is parshuram kund so please observe here who is the governor bd mishra who is the chief minister prem kandu who is the tourism minister nakap nalo and who is the tourism secretary sadhana devori next the geographical facts of this parshuram kund if you observe you will find this metal in the beds of arunachal pradesh at lohit district in beside the lohit river you will find this rich resource metal 
the, if you observe the image clearly can anyone guess what is this metal please do remember this is vanadium right so this is vanadium so which was discovered by andres manuel del rio in 1801 this vanadium was discovered by andres manuel del rio in 1801 what is the atomic number atomic number is represented by z symbol you all are well aware of it and what is the z value of vanadium it is 23 and coming to the weight it is 50.9415 and color if you observe it is blue silver gray color it is a blue silver gray color Arunachal Pradesh is like to be become India's prime producer of vanadium in 2021. Please do remember this is a very very important point. So Arunachal Pradesh is going to become India's prime producer of vanadium. It is a high value metal which are used in strengthening steel and titanium. So in exam in science and technology you may get which metal is used to strengthen steel and titanium so please do remember which metal is used to strengthen steel and titanium that is vanadium explosion being carried out by the geological survey of india has placed the eastern arunachal pradesh on the vanadium map of the country and coming to the uses so the first use we already discussed it it will strengthen steel and titanium about 80 percent of the vanadium produced is used as a steel additive and vanadium steel alloys are very tough and are used for armor plate axles tools piston rods as well as crank shifts and this vanadium oxide please do remember this is vanadium and if you observe the vanadium oxide which is used as a pigment for ceramics as well as glass right so please do remember vanadium oxide is used as pigment for which materials ceramics and glass and this is used as a catalyst in producing superconducting oh, magnets oh, oh, oh. Right. So, oxide, vanadium oxide, which is used as a pigment for which materials? Ceramics and glass, and is also as an. This is used as a catalyst in producing superconducting magnets. So these are the uses of this vanadium. So please do remember the value, the Z. 23 and its color and it is discovered by Andreas Manuel del Rio right so in 2021 it is going to become Arunachal Pradesh is going to become India's prime producer of vanadium which is used to strengthening the metals like steel and aluminium so these are very very important issues next Static GK of Arunachal Pradesh. So what is the state song of Arunachal Pradesh? It is Satya Meva Jayati. And what is the state mammal? Gayal, state bird, hornbill, state fish, golden masir, state flower, foxtail, orchid, and the state tree is hollow. Along with this, please do remember what is what is the surname of arunachal pradesh so please to listen carefully the surname the surname of arunachal pradesh is land of dawn lit mountains land of dawn lit mountains right and what are the border states of this arunachal pradesh this is assam and nagaland to the south and it states with which international country with Bhutan in west, Myanmar in east and also a northern part of Arunachal Pradesh which is a dispute between which two countries China and India and 
you can find the Macmohan line in this part. What is the capital of this country? Yeah, what is the capital of this Arunachal Pradesh? It is Itanagar. And please do remember, you are all well aware of seven sisters. And in this seven sisters, which is the largest state? Please do remember. Please do remember what is the largest state in this seven states, seven sisters, Arunachal Pradesh. And it actually it was first as established as Union territory, right? So in 21st January 1972, it became a Union territory of India. Before that, it is a part of Assam. And in 21st January 1972, it became an UT. And in on 20th February 1987, yani after 15 years, it became a state. First, it was a part of Assam. Next, on 1972, 21st January, it became Union Territory of India. And in 1987, 20th February, it changed into state. And who is the governor of this state? B.D. Mishra. Who is the chief minister? Prema Kandu. And, and, and one thing you should observe here, the High Court. So for all seven sisters, the High Court is at Gowati. Right? And next, you should observe the main uh, dispute between the Arunachal Pradesh and China. It is, it is the Tawang district as well as northern part of Arunachal Pradesh occupied during 1962 Sino-India War. Most of the Arunachal Pradesh was now temporarily captured by these Chinese people liberation army. Clear? So please do remember the northern part of Arunachal Pradesh is now under China. Especially the Tawang sector. Clear? And you can see the important the important lakes like Ketala Lake. Please do remember the Ketala Lake, K E T T L E Ketala Lake. And coming to the highest peak is Kanto, K A N G T O, Kanto. In the same way, there are Gorichan Peak, Eastern Gorichan Peak. Clear? And coming, and please do remember the surnames. What is the surname of Arunachal Pradesh? Land of Dwan Lit Mountains. And as well as, there is another surname for it. This is also called as Orchid State of India. Please do remember Orchid State of India. Paradise of Botanists. So there are three surnames of this Arunachal Pradesh. The first one is Land of the Dwan Lit Mountains. The second one is Orchid State of India. The third one Paradise of the Botanists. And another one the major rivers in this Arunachal Pradesh are the Brahmaputra River, the same way Dibang River. And the next, we already studied about this right term, the Lohit River. So these three rivers, Brahmaputra River, Dibang River and Lohit River are very, very important rivers in this Arunachal Pradesh. Whereas coming to the World Heritage Sites, if there are like Namthaba National Park, N-A-M-D-A-P-H-A, -A, Namthaba National Park, which is the largest protected area in the Eastern Himalayan biodiversities. Coming to the landscapes, the main one is Apatanis, A-P-A-T-A-N-I-S, the Apatanis, the tribe which inhabited Zero Valley for their effective traditionals. And if you observe the national parks, the, the main one is Namthaba, N-A-M-D-A-P-H-A, -A, the Namthaba National Park. 
and the second national park in this Arunachal Pradesh is Mauling National Park. The first one, Namdapha National Park, and the second one, Mauling, M O U L I N G, Mauling National Park. And coming to the tiger reserves, there are two tiger, there are three tiger reserves in this Arunachal Pradesh. One, first one, Namdapha Tiger Reserve, second one, Pake, P A W K E. Pake Tiger Reserve and the third one Kamlang K A M L A N G Kamlang Tiger Reserve. So please don't forget. And coming to the art, coming to the art, the Tangka painting, which is a very very famous one. Right? Please do remember what is the famous art form in this Arunachal Pradesh. Tangka painting, T A N G K A, T A N G T A N G K A, is a painting, famous art form in this Arunachal Pradesh. And you all are well aware of major festivals here. The first one will be the Makar Sankranti, as we discussed right now. And another three important regional festivals are there. In Arunachal Pradesh, that is Losar, L O S A R. The second one, Mopin, M O P I N, and the third one, Solang, S O L U N G. The so, Losar, Mopin, Solang, and this Makara Sankranti are the major festivals in Arunachal Pradesh. Right. So you all are well aware. What are the surnames of this? What are the surnames of this Arunachal Pradesh? It is Orchid State of India, Paradise of the Botanists, as well as Land of Sunrise. So, Land of Sunrise we got so many times in exam. What is which 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 state is called as Land of Sunrise? Right. So, please do remember all these issues. Please note it down. Everything. Please. Watch the video, the static GK of Arunachal Pradesh once again. So you guys will get a clear idea about this. So this is a KCR from Kartikeya AS Academy. Academy providing online test series for mains group one paper, group one aspirants as well as civil services 2021 aspirants. Please log in into srikatkeyaasacademy.in or please contact the given phone numbers. So please attend every live sessions as well as offline sessions for each and every subject. Katkeya IAS Academy providing online classes, offline classes and recorded classes.